Hello and welcome to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and today I am participating in the Hedgehog Hollow Hop with a group of my crafty friends. If you're just starting the hop with my video, all the details are in the description box below. There are prizes to be won and lots of great hedgehog themed projects to see. So I hope you will hop along with us. So obviously it is a hedgehog theme and I am using a hedgehog digi from Audible Art Stamps for my project. I started by printing the digi which is the hedgehog, a little skull and a speech bubble with the sentiment. I printed them onto my card base and I also printed them onto a piece of scrap paper to make masks. You want to make sure you print them the exact same size so that they will fit perfectly and then fussy cut the masks out and put some Tombow Mono Multi liquid glue on the back, let it dry to be repositionable and then put the masks into place on my card base. I also created a little hill mask from some post-it tape to mask off the grounding area of my scene and then I'm going to create my background and I'm going to be doing layered stenciling for this. So I started by ink blending some Forest Glades Alt New Ink, which is a nice green ink, onto the card base. And I'm kind of limiting the area, so I'm fading it out to white. So it's mostly around the hedgehog and then fading out as it gets further away. I then have a leaf stencil from Stamplerations with quite large leaves. And I laid that over the top and ink blended over it again with that same Forest Glades ink. And then I'm going to go in with a Catherine Pooler stencil. This is marching leaves stencil, which is again leaves and these are a similar design of leaf to the bigger ones I used, but they are smaller, obviously. And I'm going to go over again to create another layer and just add more interest to this area. You could use different shades of green for the different layers if you liked, but I decided to just do it all in the same colour. And you can peel up the stencil, just have a look behind and see how it looks. And keep blending until you're happy with it. And here's the magic part where you peel off the masks and see what it looks like. I did wonder if the stenciled background was a little bit too busy before I removed the masks, but once I removed them, I decided I did actually like it. Next, I'm going to move on to coloring my images. So I'm using Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers and I'm going to be coloring first the little skull just with a little bit of ivory ink and then I blended it out with my blender pen. And then I will color the hedgehog itself. I'm going to color the spike area first using some dark browns. You can see all the lids on screen for the colors I have used. I do prefer to use the bullet tip on these markers. The illustrator markers have a bullet tip and a brush tip, but I find the brush tip tends to fray a bit, especially if the marker's not quite so juicy, I find it starts fraying. So some of the markers I will use the brush tip, but generally speaking, I use the bullet end of these markers. Another thing to note, if you have the regular SM markers, so not the illustrator markers, the colors are slightly different. So if you use this exact same numbers as me, like the EB4, for example, the colour might be slightly different with the regular Spectrum Noir markers compared to the Illustrator markers. Just something to keep in mind if you are going to be trying to recreate my colouring. And whilst I am colouring this, I'll just very quickly say again that all the details for the hop are in the description box below. There are two prizes available from our sponsor, Hedgehog Hollow, a very generous sponsor, so thank you very much to them. If you'd like to be in with a chance to win, do make sure you read the rules in the description box and follow the instructions to be in for your chance to win. And I believe you have a week to enter and there is one prize that is US only and then the other prize is open internationally. So even if you're not in the US, there is a chance for you to win something. And be sure to leave lots of love along the way as you're watching all the videos to all these talented people who are showing you their fun hedgehog themed projects. I have seen some sneak peeks already of some of them and that they are very adorable, so you don't want to miss out. Back to the card. 
Once I've finished colouring the back portion of the hedgehog, I'm going to go in and colour the front area, which I'm doing with lighter shades of brown. So I am using the same earth browns as my darkest tones, but I didn't use the darkest. So on the spike area of the hedgehog, I had used the EB7 as the darkest. And on this lighter area, I used mostly the EB2, but I did use a touch of EB4 in just some of the areas. And then I will blend that out with the EB1. And then I also bought in some light colors. So I bought in caramel and ivory as well to blend the colors out even more. And this just gives a bit of a different tone to the spike area of the hedgehog to help differentiate them a bit. And it adds a bit more interest as well, rather than using all the same colors. My coloring, when I color, I generally put my light source that it's coming from the top right. So in this case, that would be behind the hedgehog. And then also places that overlap with each other are going to have shadows as well. And I do have a whole playlist showing videos I've done with alcohol marker coloring. If you'd like to see more of those, once you're done hopping, you can come back and I will have a link to those in the top right hand corner. I did add a touch of pink to the cheeks, ears and the little heart on the hedgehog as well. And then I used a very light grey and a blender pen to add some grounding below the hedgehog and the skull just to make them look like they're actually sitting on the hill rather than floating. And I used that same light grey to add some dimension to the speech bubble as well. And that will complete my card. So that's a one layer hedgehog card using an Oppo Art Digi and some layered stenciling. I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you enjoyed it, please do press the like button and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below to let me know what you thought of the video. Don't forget to hop along with the other videos in the hop. And again, all the information for that is down below along with a list of the products I have used for this video. If you're not yet a subscriber, you can subscribe by pressing the button on screen now and the notification bell down below will let you know every time I post a new video. There are also a couple of other videos on screen if you'd like to see more from me, but don't forget to hop along before watching more of my videos. You can always come back later to watch them. Thank you so much for watching, good luck in the giveaway, and I will see you again next time. Bye!